Welcome back to Empower Field at Mile High. We're in the second quarter as it's the Broncos in control of the football. The kick by McManus is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 zip. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. To throw once more on second and ten. Jackson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now. Step back. Shake it off a little bit. Trust his offensive line. And hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. Hamler now on the return. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The danger of a punt that good, a 16-yard return. And the Broncos take over, first down. And 10. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Second and 10. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. To throw is Brady. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Tyree Cleveland. As the first half is winding down, and the Broncos able to show off their quick strike ability. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead grows to 10 0. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So, not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive as they go to work with 12 seconds on the clock. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On second and two, Jackson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And now it's second down. 
The final shot before break. Jackson, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman. For all, all right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. Out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here are the Broncos to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. On first down, Brady. He's going to go for a big play downfield. They've got his man complete. And all the way home for a Broncos score. Tyree Cleveland, 77 yards. And the Broncos come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now McManus for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down 17-0, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. From the gun, it's Jackson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And he was looking for Rashad Bateman there. And that takes us from second to third down. This is where the mile-high air really starts to affect an opposing offense. Guys moving a bit slowly here. It's third and long. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. So after the INT, it's Brady going for the deep ball. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown! Tyree Cleveland with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Broncos turn that interception into a touchdown. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. McManus's point after is good, and the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. On the return is Duvernay. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. 
What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Second and five now. Jackson, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And returning it, here's Hamler. Nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And coming out now, the Broncos. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you wouldn't. And all the way home for the Broncos score. The fourth touchdown pass in the game for Tom Brady. And the Broncos get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. On oh, the return is Duvernay. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 30 on second down, Jackson throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time, and it's third down. Here's Jackson, and that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. That's pulled in at the 32. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Denver's offense ready to go again, and it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and 10. Brady going to look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. He was thinking end zone, but he'll take it. Now they're knocking on the door. I like the way you can read his thoughts. Think of it from the opposite side of the ball. They thought they had a chance to make a play and knock it away. Didn't get it done. Can they reset now and hold them to a field goal? After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen 
come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. McManus's point after is good, and that will extend this big lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Escaping the pressure right. First down and more for Jackson. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. From midfield now, here's Jackson. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Dance into his... The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. The Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But it looked like a Raven was able to get in there, and they will indeed keep the possession. One last shot for Jackson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And he's going to go down as time for victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, off.